go, Freddy, come on now, come on now. Yeah, what up y'all, welcome back to another one. Oh, it is butt crack of the morning. It's sitting right at 6.30 a.m. And uh, this is my first time doing this, y'all. Well, I'll tell you right now, I'm excited to be doing this. Uh, like I said, it is butt crack in the morning, and I'm telling you what, there has been a lot of starlings and sparrows flying around in the mornings, let's say probably between 7 and 9 a.m. So, I got out here, getting ready. Shop's locked, forgot my keys. Well, not we're in here, we got her unlocked. This is my weapon of choice for today, the old Franke. I haven't used it in quite some time. Ever since we got the Benelli, that's been all I've been really rocking. The old Franke, she is begging to get used. It's a little chilly though, it's sitting at 44 degrees. Here's my plan, uh, two things. Number one, we're gonna walk around the property. We're gonna go way back, way, way back on the North 40. We're gonna try to shoot some birds this morning. We might roll it into tonight, maybe. But here in a little bit, we have to go inside and I gotta show you the coyote. It might be coyotes. There might be two of them actually on the trail cam. You all seen the trail cam footage before. I've been baiting them with dead pigeons, a lot of different dead this and that, you name it. Well, I got some awesome pictures of this coyote and I mean, real close within like two feet of the camera close one of them looks a little mangy so plan is to hunt that coyote i really want to kill that coyote uh as you can tell right here we're putting in the new pigeon loft and chicken coop right here it's in the process so that coyote or coyotes they gotta go so that might be what we do this morning i'm gonna go grab the coyote call we're gonna go out back. I'm gonna go get my camo bottoms on and we're gonna try to call in this coyote and shoot it. If it don't work, then we're just gonna start shooting birds. But I really wanna try this coyote uh, while we have time. Uh, the last picture I had of him was at 7.30 in the a.m. Right now it's right before 7 a.m. So we're gonna get out there, we're gonna try to give it a go. Basically I wanna go ahead, try a morning set on this coyote before I'm gonna have to sit in the dark and shoot him. I have a feeling with how many times I have uh, caught him on the camera at night, like I'm talking 11.30 a.m., that means we're gonna have to try to shoot that coyote at night in the dark. Yes, it's legal to shoot coyotes in the dark, middle of the night, so that might have to be our final option if we can't get him in the daylight. Well, here we go, we got the old shot cam on the 12 gauge. We are ready to go, got the camos on now. I really want to put in some time trying to get this coyote down, but here we are back at the shop. We're going to park the golf cart right here. I'm going to leave it right here, take everything we need, and get to hunting. We're walking back here. Got you all on the GoPro. Today I'm using Federal Speed Shock 3 inch BB loads uh, for the coyote. But like I said, if we don't have any luck, there goes a starling right there. We're gonna sit for about 15, 20, 30 minutes for this coyote. If we don't get him, then I'm gonna know that we just can't get him in the morning here. We're gonna have to wait till after dark, like I was saying. But if we don't get him, we're gonna try to walk around and shoot some birds here in just a little bit. Well, here we are at the bait pile. I'm gonna put the call right here in the bait pile, pretty much. Like right here where these dead pigeons are. We're gonna sit over here in this tree. Uh, we're gonna be really covered up and um, I'm hoping I'll have a shot. It's a little farther than I wanna be away, but I really don't have a choice. I have to sit back up in here, like right here. But here we go, let's load her up before we turn on the call here. Only brought three shells. Turn the GoPro, or turn the shot cam on. Let's turn this bad boy on. Only thing I don't like is that I'm getting nailed in the face with sun, so hopefully that don't mess us up. Hopefully we can call him in here. We're gonna do a rabbit distress call first. All right, here we go, y'all. Let's hope something happens.
Jesus. That crow scared me. <laughs> Boy, this crow is mad. He is not happy. Uh oh, here's another crow coming. Two crows. Too bad crow season's been over for a while now. Well, just threw it on mute. Uh, we've had it going for about 10 minutes. The crows are just piling up. They are, I think we've had four over, over us at one time here. So, too bad it's not crow season anymore, boys. Holy smokes, that would have been fun. No sign of a dog yet. Like I said, I wanted to try it this morning. Um, I've only had them on the camera one time uh, in the morning here. All the other times have been at 9.30 at night to 11.30 at night to 2.30 at night, so. Well, it is seven, almost 7.40. Almost 740. We've been sitting out here for right at 30 minutes. I've rotated the call on and off twice. But looks like in the daytime here, it ain't gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna shut off the call. I'm gonna grab it. <clears throat> We're gonna go throw in some um, regular lead shot. Try to shoot a few birds, maybe, hopefully. Nope, nothing this time, boys. Nothing this time. Not a bad little sitting spot I got though. Guarantee you that'll work. Really nice little sitting spot. We're gonna get this dog. I'm telling you, I'm determined now. I'm, I'm determined to get him. The pictures we got are insane. One of the pictures, he darn near peed on my camera. The coyote that is, so I'm after him. So, see this big high wire right here? That is uh, the primary reason why starlings fly over my house and a lot more of them fly over the house up here up front because of the high wire now that means i'm gonna have to shoot around the house up here uh the family's still sleeping uh which kind of scared to wake mama up i don't want to get beat up so what we're gonna do first we're gonna get fred fred come on fred Oh, there he is. There he is. He's like, Dad, you went hunting without me. Dude, I was just coyote hunting, man. You can't go on those. But we got Fred. He's happier than you know what. And uh, we're going to try to get some birds down. I'm going to have to stick around the house up here. This is the main fly line, the trafficking area, uh, because of that big guide wire. Let's try to do it. I really want to get something on the ground here. We still have not shot anything here at the new house. Nothing. Not one bird. Um, I'm thinking we need to go. We're going to start up here, Fred. Come on now. Come on now. We're going to start up here. These, these front evergreens of mine, front yard, this is where birds love to fly, right here. Uh-oh, I just, I just seen a rabbit. Just seen a rabbit. Fred, heel. Heel, Fred. Fred, heel. Here. Just seen a rabbit. Sit. Sit. I hope he just, I see him, he's right there. Sit. Sit. There's a rabbit right up here. Sit. Heel. I think I hit him. I was close. Fred, heel. Sit. He got in there quick. Oh, I got him! Yes! 
Yes! <laughs> Woo! Here, Fred, here, bring him here. Come on, bring him here. This is Fred's first rabbit. Oh, yes, dude. Now stop licking him. Oh, my goodness. Yes! Yes! One shot. The old Franky baby. I love it. I love this gun. That was awesome. I was not expecting to rabbit hunt at the house today, baby. Ugh. Yes, it's just a rabbit. It's just a rabbit. But like I was just saying, we haven't shot anything here. Fred, we're gonna be having some rabbit for dinner, dude. Maybe leave, maybe even lunch. How about that? Look at that. Wow. I didn't think I got him. I did not think I hit him. Sure enough, that's a good sized rabbit, man. Seen him way back. Uh, a group of starlings got out of a tree, uh, out of an evergreen in front of me. I was like, oh, well then, just caught him out of the corner of my eye. I caught him come out of an evergreen and then dart into a uh, grass patch just like this up there. We chased him. I was on Fred's butt. I was like, Fred, heal, heal, heal. That's a good dog. Good buddy. That's awesome. If you guys like this video, the old rabbit hunt. Y'all have been requesting a rabbit hunt too. We got it done at the house, baby. If you guys like it, you know what to do. Come on, smash that thumbs up. The first house hunt, successful house hunt. That's what I'm talking about. Well, it's the next day. Just got done editing up a video for y'all. That one took about two hours, not too bad. I'm hungry and it's time to eat. I let my rabbit marinate for one whole day in Frank's Red Hot. Now, a lot of people love Frank's Red Hot. I mean, honestly, what guy out there doesn't like Frank's Red Hot? And what I'm gonna do is I got him in a Ziploc here. I got me some spicy Montreal steak seasoning. Mm-hmm, getting, getting creative out here, let me tell you. And some pepper. I'm gonna throw these in the bag, shake it up good. Then we're gonna flop it around in our flour. And then this bad boy right here. We have been using this as a family so much. I have not cooked any wild game in it yet. And I want to. So, this is a Ninja Air Fryer. Uh, bought it for my wife for Christmas, I believe. They are not cheap, expensive one. Uh, they have a lot of different price ranges of these air fryers, but I will tell you, it's not just an air fryer. Uh, you got the frying air crisp, a bacon roast option, a broil. It literally replaces all this. So if you guys have been thinking about getting one, uh, honestly, they've taken the mess out of it, the dishes out of it, the prep out of it, and it cooks everything awesome. Hope that shot isn't too bad, but here we go. Like I said, Montreal steak. Put some up in there, give her a good old shake and bacon. Mix them up real good. What I wanna do is get all my seasoning stuck to the meat, so then when we roll it in the flour, it basically is locked in there. So, that looks like that should be eh, a little bit more. Never hurt, never hurt. I like, I like spicy stuff, so this combination ought to be awesome. Add a little bit of pepper, a lot of bit of pepper, however much you want, however much pepper you like. And now, we will zip this bad boy shut, pull her up, give her a good shake, boys. Give her a good old shake. That's good. Now, oh, look at that. They look awesome. Perfectly coated little rabbit leg right there. Now, we're only gonna get into the thighs today. This is the hard part. Getting it to stick good has always been the issue for me trying to fry battered stuff. So I'm gonna make sure I can get it on there real good like. There we go. And there we go. There is our rabbit leg ready to go. So here we go. Uh... If this is new to you, believe me, it's new to me as well. The wife usually uses this. She usually cooks everything on it. This is my first time really using it by myself, to be quite honest. But first of all, here is our rabbit thighs. Throw them on. Now what, what I have going on here, you have to have this pan in here. 
But then this little rack that slips in here, that is for this option right here, Air Crisp. Air Crisp, it's amazing. Close the lid, let's see what she says. Yep, yeah, uh-huh, go, Air Crisp. 390 degrees for about 25 minutes. Start, here she goes. Now, I looked up the cooking recipe for the Ninja for basically, I looked up chicken thighs, basically cooking them the same way. And that's what it recommended, 390, 25 minutes. And to turn these bad boys frequently. So you gotta turn them probably three or four times in that 25 minutes. But while we're waiting here, if y'all have any rabbit recipes that are just too delicious not to share you know what to do drop a comment down below and let us all know hook us up well she's done let's check it out Ugh, that did not turn out the way i wanted it to hmm my gosh uh well that, that just fell off uh-huh okay well, the flour did not bake how I wanted it to. I bet it still won't taste too bad. It doesn't look like the best thing I've ever cooked, that's for sure. <laughs> Great hunter, awesome shot, uh, but not the best cook ever. I will take that. Well, we let her cool off. Man, it doesn't look like the most appetizing piece of meat that I've ever cooked in my life, but the last time I ate rabbit, it was pretty darn good. Let's give her a whirl here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, just like I thought. Oh yeah. The Frank's Red Hot came through yet again. <laughs> All right, so my flower situation did not work out very great. Probably would have been better if I just would have put it in the air crisp without the flour probably would have been a lot better but that frank's marinade that's really good the hair dry but not too dry that is not bad the air crisp cooked the meat really good cooked it a little too hot for a little too long probably turned down the heat a little bit but it's pretty darn good not gonna lie well that was some tasty stuff right there let me tell you Oh, Fred, are you tired, buddy? Oh, sit down, sit. Sit down, cute boy. There you go. Oh, you've been sleeping, huh? Oh, Fred, getting ready to go to the trainer like I've been warning y'all. And stuff have started arriving for the lodge. Oh, yeah, the lodge build is literally on the way, almost underway. So be expecting those videos, they're gonna be awesome. Cannot wait to get the lodge underway, y'all. And to get Fred some professional training. But if you guys like these hunts here at the house, this was our first one. Thank goodness we got it done, you know what I mean? Plus, if you guys want me to keep going after the old yote, that coyote, you gotta let me know down in the comment section below. But thank y'all for being here. Be sure to hit that little notification bell because it'll notify you when your boy uploads. Big shout out to my notification gang. Y'all are amazing. But until next time, peace. Cause I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.